So the purpose of this lecture is for me to just review uh, a little bit of what I'm asking for homework. I didn't get a chance to model this, so I'm expecting you to be ideal students now, sharpened pencils in hand, sitting up straight, turning the music off, and looking uh, at this worksheet or this video. Any case, Archimedes' principle states that the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, these blocks right here and you're going to submerge them in water with a density of one and they all have the same one liter volume. And we want to find the new weight, the buoyant force, and then the new weight. Okay, now some things you should know is that weight, okay, W, is equal to mass times gravity. Now, really, what this is, weight is a force, and force is equal to ma, mass times acceleration. It just so happens that uh, gravity and acceleration or gravity is the form of acceleration we're going to use for weight. And the we're going to use the value to make things simplified. We're going to reduce this, or we're going to use a simplified value of 10 meters per second squared. That's the unit for acceleration. Now, we're going to use newtons as our weight. Now, a newton is, believe it or not, is a kilogram meter per second squared. So all we have to do is use kilograms times this to get our weight in newtons. Now we usually use pounds or uh, different other types of units used, but newtons is what we use. Now when you put yourself on a scale and you get kilograms or you get, um, I shouldn't say pounds, uh, pounds, these are just masses. Okay, Weight is a force, so I misspoke. A pound is, is, is a mass. So we need weight here. So in any case, looking at the first object, when I, before I submerge it, let's go figure out its weight. Okay, its weight is its mass in kilograms times 10. Which that's the acceleration due to gravity. So I'm going to take its weight, and I'm going to find that to be its mass, which is 19.3 kilograms, and I'm going to times that by 10 meters per second squared. And this, of course, is going to give me 193 newtons. Yeah, that's the unit of weight that we're going to use. All right, and that's the, the weight is pushing down on this block. Okay, now you submerge it. The weight's, okay, is still the same, except you're going to have an opposing force. In this case, it's going to be smaller, and it's the buoyant force. Now, the buoyant force, okay, is the same force, so we have to take the mass times the same uh, gravity that we're under. Okay, so this is going to be also 10 meters per second squared. However, what value do we use here? Well, the buoyant force is the weight of the displaced fluid. So what we do is we take the amount of water that would be in this uh, space, so if you drop this in water, this block is taking up some amount of water that normally would be in this position. So water wants to run back into this position. So you've got kind of forces of water trying to get back. Now, of course, the force below is bigger because it's deeper. It's heightened water. Okay, there's going to be a greater pressure. So that overtakes the others, and these two cancel. So we're talking about a force upward. Now, based on Archimedes' principle, if you take that volume, of the water and mass it out, that's what's going to go here. So we basically going to take this volume of water. Water would have been in here, so it's displacing one liter of water. Now one liter of water is a thousand milliliters. Okay, and we know the density of water is about what? One gram per one milliliter. So I know that this is a thousand grams, which by the way is a kilogram. So a liter of water, because the density of water is one gram per milliliter, is a kilogram. So it's displacing a kilogram of mass of water. To find the total force, or the buoyant force, which is mass times acceleration, I times them together, and I get 10 newtons. Okay? And if I was to submerge this a gold block in water and put it on a scale, it now would weigh... 
193 minus 10, 183 newtons. It would feel lighter because of the buoyant force upwards. So the weight down was 193. The buoyant force upward, okay, not as big, but certainly there, is 10. The resultant force, the resultant vector, is going to be, um, do red, is going to be 183. So it appears that the weight got lighter because of the opposing force that minimizes the weight. So the answer to the question is, okay, uh, determine the buoyant force, which is 10 newtons here, and determine the new weight in the water, which would be 183 here. Pretty simple stuff, but I know I didn't give you the breakdown of how all this works. I want you to do this for all the other blocks, including the wood, and I want to recognize something special that happens with wood. And, and basically, please look at the key for the couple of different pieces at the end that I want you to recognize. Thank you.